Furze is a simple action tool to arm every animal lover, charity, sanctuary, organisation, veterinary practice and volunteer with the application to bring assistance to any animal in need anywhere in the world. And so being developed to help out, as I said, any animal, so a stray animal, a lost animal, lost pet, um, injured animal, ill animal, or just downtrodden animal that you come across. The problem is with how we try and take action for animals currently is that we don't know what to search for. We don't know who to call. We don't know uh, if we're in a location and we speak the same language. We don't know uh, what action we should take. This shows better how the app will actually work. So we filmed this in uh, a beef parade over the summer there, working with some of the organisations down there, particularly Care for Cats, uh, which I've worked with for many years down there. I've been on track to release, uh, bring medical assistance to the cats on the island there, and uh, yeah, just try and take action from this. So as you can see, taking a photo of the animal, finding perhaps an animal on the side of the road that needs assistance, Going to the app. Another example of stray cat colonies. Finding one that's particularly or potentially injured. Again, taking a photograph of them. So, going in, hit post to rescue. Take a photograph of the animal. Couple of comments, select the animal type, tag its location, hit post. This is staging through the comments back and forth with the uh, organisation and animal professional that's coming to you to meet the animal. Timeline of how the app is going to respond and ways to relate and work with the organisations. That's how simple it is going to be. Now, of course, we want people to be able to uh, potentially stay around with the animal to meet the animal professional in location to help out with uh, potentially showing them where the animal is or the box of catches or um, the deer that's been hit by a car or any of these circumstances. But I've heard so many stories over the years of potentially a person who's on the way to the airport in the and seeing a hit by a car, but they can't miss that flight. And this person wished they could have done something. With this app, they could lean out the window, take a photograph of that dog, da -da 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 -da, comment, post, and then whilst they're sitting in departures, get a notification from that uh, local organisation that doesn't even speak the same language, because you hit translate back and forth, says, yes, we're going to up that dog. Thank you so much for taking action to bring assistance to that animal. How cool is that for the rest of that dog? How it works from uh, that perspective is we're not only building it from that aspect of taking the quick and simple action for animals, we're also building a back-end platform for those charity sanctuaries organisations to manage their animal rescue. Because as I said, currently at the moment, They've got a Google listing, they've probably got a closed group Facebook page, they're trying to manage their volunteers on WhatsApp, they've got an Excel spreadsheet that they've got their job numbers on, but it's not connectable, not relatable. There is no other platform that exists like this. As I said, this also allows you to uh, post or uh, ensure that your, uh, should you ever lose your pet, the same platform of instead of just posting for an animal you found, we allow a monetized opt-in opt option that you can store your pet's information within your own profile on the app with its photograph, with its microchip details and any comments that you'd like to leave. So should your furry family member go missing at any stage, you go into the app, 30 seconds, bring up a photo of your pet, instead of tagging the location you're currently in, you tag last location seen, lost pet, Answers to Toby, uh, very friendly, great with kids, reward offered, please let us know and blast that out. Faster than any current circumstance of I've got to ring the Mayhew, I've got to ring Battersea, I've got to ring the local vet, I've got to ring the RSPCA, then I've got to get down to the 
uh, snappy snaps, print off a whole heap of flies, the roll of sticky tape, the kids are coming home, they're going to be disappointed, the pet's lost. On and on and on, 30 seconds you collect everyone in your local area that has got the ad and also those vet volunteers uh, may you better see all of those that have got the management platform that your pet is missing, including its microchip details. Scan it, boom, yep, we've got your pet here. Yep, then bring that snappy snaps by the time you've done all that. That brings that assistance in that damn quick that we're ensuring another way that capitalises on top of that wearable tech as well to bring assistance to animals. So where do we go from here? We are currently running a Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign which uh, is being used to obviously have more details about what the app is going to become and build our audience, validate the product, and of course it is about crowdfunding there. So we are still intending to raise more capital to actually develop the app. We start, um, so yes, please do go on to Indiegogo, check it out, FURS AID, F-U-R-Z-A-I-D, and uh, please do donate to the campaign, or if you can't donate, please share it, because it's much uh, more important that we build our audience to uh, bring this app to everyone everywhere. So next stage is we start development in January. We are aiming to have a beta test version for people to be able to test the app. So please do go on to furzade.com or as I said on Indiegogo, register your interest to become a tester because we're doing an EU-wide beta test launch in May and therefore we need people to, well, particularly going on holidays and stuff like that, to be able to test the app with Romanian street dogs or those cats in Greece or cats in Spain, Italy, uh, France, everywhere there's stray cats around Europe, uh, but any animal anywhere and I want to be able to test for a variety of animals in any different circumstance to make sure it connects with those organisations on the ground to bring assistance to those animals to be that fast response that people take action. Then we're aiming for uh, the version 1.0, the actual full official version to be launched, uh, hopefully July summertime, to get in front of the really terrible kitten seasons and stuff like that that occur every year on the Med and all these organisations like the one in the Beta and all the Greek ones, I mean, talk to Greek Animal Rescue downstairs, just overwhelmed every year by the amount of people dumping animals, uh, stray animals, uh, explosion of kittens and stray colonies and all that sort of stuff. So uh, they need all the help they can get. So the more people that know how to connect with them in a very quick circumstance, the more that people can uh, take action. And hopefully compassion breeds compassion and onwards people can uh, get on board with animal rescue and feel empowered and no longer have to say that sentence of, I wish I could do something. Because I'm tired of feeding cats and stuff, uh, feeding stray animals and having people come up and home and say, oh, that's so sweet, I wish I could do that. It's like, well, go to the supermarket and just pour ham from out, down the road there and yeah, help out and stuff. So, but often they see the problem is too big. That's why I want to give them something so damn easy. I can't believe for years this hasn't existed. There's been no way to take action. And so that was why I came to a choice of just going, I'm going to do this myself. Because first and foremost, I needed it. So that's where we're going from here. Now, FurzAid is something that, um, as I said, played Michael Jackson Man in the Mirror at the start there. It comes down to this belief that one person does not have the power to change the world for every animal, but every person has the power to change one animal in the world. And that's what I want Thursday to be. We've all got phones, we've all got access to any app that does anything. This needs to exist so people can take action for animals with that simple action tool. And that's what it's going to be. Such a broad platform to be able to do anything, anywhere, anytime. Ten year plans of being able to use our phones to scan the back of an animal to see if it is lost and stuff like that with the NFC technology that is currently built in front and stuff to bring more assistance that way. This is where we're going. Farm into adoption programs and make sure that uh, all remaining street dogs get rescued and stuff. So that's where we're going. So thank you very much for coming to hear me speak.